What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here. And in today's video, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. You guys know I love tech, and well, I got a new computer to edit all these videos. It's my new studio computer, and I'm super excited to share it with you because it's actually saving me so much time. It's crazy. So let's get right into it. Now, I've wanted a desktop computer for a while. I think I had one, an iMac, in 2016. Maybe 2017, not 100% sure. I know I got one right after I got laid off. Um, so that could be like October, November 2016. So I had it for a couple of years and it wasn't until somewhere around 2018, BenQ sent me a 32 inch 4K HDR monitor to review. And at that time, I also had a PC, like a gaming PC built because I was gonna start a gaming channel. Yeah, imagine that, right? Well, the gaming channel's still there. I have a couple of videos, but no, nothing's really happening. And now the gaming PC handles all the live streaming and you know our podcast on the Daily Hi-Fi channel every Monday. That's all done through the PC. My live DJ sets on Saturdays, that's all done through the PC since it has you know PCI slots because I've got like, you know, five HDMI inputs on that bad boy now. So it's pretty cool. And I'm glad that BenQ did send me this monitor, you know, a couple of years ago, because then I was able to sell the iMac. But I've been wanting a new desktop computer that stays here in the studio. And that has like a really powerful graphics card and really fast, you know, external hard drive, just so that it can just chow through all the processing that these videos take. Because these videos, including this one, takes a lot of processing power just to get the first initial stages of editing done. And since I already have a monitor, keyboard, and trackball, mouse thingamajig, I figured I might as well try to get a Mac Mini. So that's what I ended up getting, a Mac Mini with 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's the i7 six core processor with only the one terabyte SSD because it was kind of crazy price-wise to get the two terabyte SSD and then the 10 gigabit ethernet or whatever it's called. So I got that, it was around $2,600, but it only comes with like a one gigabyte video RAM video card. So I actually bought an external GPU case and it's pretty awesome. And I've got a video card in there that is called the Radeon Frontier air-cooled edition or something like that. I got it used on eBay like last year for 400 bucks and this thing is awesome. There's 16 gigabytes of video RAM and it plows through all kinds of processing. Usually I have a 15 to 25 minute video clip and I have to resize it, reframe it, and then add color correction, which takes quite a bit of time to process and then I actually get into the edit. So this is actually saving me so much time, it is nuts. Now the Radeon graphics card I got is an older one, which is why I was able to get it for around 400 bucks on eBay, but brand new, the thing cost around 1200. So it's not really a cheap situation. And, and uh, I'm pretty stoked to have it because it just plows through. And if you're wondering about all of this stuff, I did update a lot of links down in the description if you want to check it out and roll with that. I have one for my podcasting audio setup and then there's a link for the computer stuff with different options because I know the video card's probably hard to get. You know, you can get an eight gigabyte video card for, you know, a couple hundred dollars. So there are a lot of cheaper options out there. I just wanted something that was gonna be awesome and kick ass. And that's that's why, you know, and I'm techno dad, you know I like to overdo things just a little bit. Now you can see here on the Mac mini, all of the ports are taken up. The two USB ports are going to two USB hubs on my desk, so they're within reach. All four Thunderbolt 3 ports are taken. I have it hardwired into internet, so it's pretty much maxed out. And just looking at the whole setup, it's nice and compact. Well, compact enough for me. It just sits at that end of that table, which is like a gear rack table that I have for my studio gear. So it all works out. I don't have to have a big tower because I already have the gaming PC underneath the table here next to my legs. So let's focus on the boxes behind the Mac mini right now. The largest and the first one we're gonna talk about is the external graphics processing unit. And that enclosure is made by a company called Akidio and it's called the Node Titan. Now this is a little bit different than other cards because the opening is at the top. So you just kind of unscrew here and here. You've got a little handle which actually makes it portable. Lift up the top and you can access the video card without issues. A lot of the other graphics card enclosures I've seen, you actually have to like pull it out. So it takes up a lot of space if you have to get in there. You pretty much have to move the entire thing. So I like this case and it was only $30 more than the other cases. 
So I figured, why not? And the cool part is it has this little inlet at the bottom, which really makes it easy for me to conceal the cables when the Mac Mini's just kind of pushed up against it. So that's kind of cool. It's got a little built-in cable management, sort of. So I like that. Now, if you're wondering what the two black boxes are off to the side, those make up my 16 terabyte SSD. And I got to tell you guys, this shit is blazing fast. The OWC Express 4M2. And basically, it's a little enclosure that holds four NVMe sticks and it runs through Thunderbolt 3. So basically, this is the speed that I'm getting. 3900 write, 4300 read ridiculous and compared to my four terabyte thunderblade which i also got from owc that was somewhere around 2000 to 1800 so this part was not cheap now understandably the imac versus the mac mini with the external graphics processing unit and a used 16 gigabyte video card that's about the same price right and i get way more performance out of the mac mini my setup anyway than i would out of an imac and then of course i didn't need the monitor, keyboard, and mouse. So that's like one story. The second story is this hard drive situation, which is fantastic. If you guys are moving a lot of files, if you guys are editing 4K, if you guys are doing anything where you need really, really fast transport speeds, definitely check this stuff out. I did put links in the description. Uh, I think they go all to B&H, which carry all the same stuff. I also got my Intel two terabyte NVMe two chips from B&H as well, because they were the only places that sold it. And I also opted not to go with the most expensive NVMe chips as well, because I know like the Samsung ones are like 440 a piece or something like that. Now, when I was researching just a single 16 terabyte SSD, they were outrageously priced, like four to $5,000. And I wasn't about to spend that. And I was totally cool with spending, you know, two to, you know, 2,500 on something that would work that gives me the equivalent amount of storage and some very, very high transfer speeds. And I think I found the ticket here. And I don't even think they advertise how fast uh, these enclosures are. And you guys, I am so stoked. I can get videos out so much faster now. It is ridiculous. I've got it set up and it is awesome. And it actually didn't really cost me that much relatively speaking. I've been planning this out since somewhere around December. I've been wanting a computer for that long and uh, you know, saving up for it. So I'm pretty stoked about it. And I got to thank you guys you know, for watching the videos. And for those of my patrons on Patreon, you guys totally helped out, you know, helping me get this awesome equipment so that I can deliver more content to you guys. That's really what it's about. It's getting more content out faster. Because if I can pay a couple hundred dollars to save an hour, oh my gosh, you have no idea like how big that is. And that's that's what this is. That's what this video is about. That's what this computer is about. It's me saving time. But anyway, that's it, people. I got uh, some new neon lights too into the studio and things are changing. And I'm really stoked. Like 2020, even though it's been kind of like, well, I'll just let you answer that. <laughs> 2020 has been blank. You can let me know down in the comments what you, what you feel about 2020 so far. Anyway, I've got a lot of cool videos coming out, a lot of product reviews. There's just a lot going on right now, especially after the Hi-Fi Summit did just finish. However, we are getting emails from companies that are like, hey, we want to be in the Hi-Fi Summit for quarter three. Some really big names are starting to contact us about it already. So I'm going to try and get you guys as much videos as I can, humanly possible, without, you know, pissing off my wife at the same time. So thank you for watching. You know, I'm super excited about this computer. And if you guys have any questions about this or anything else, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.